fabric. Right, a piece of wire of length 500 millimeters is bent to form a rectangle with area 1225 square millimeters. One side of the rectangle has length x millimeters. Calculate the value of values of x and we present the solution to the problem. And we proceed as follows. Right, first things first, we're able to see that this area here is one, two, two, five square millimeters. This is x. And so now we can call this the length. So the couple of things we need to determine here. And so uh, it is the fact that because the length of the wire is known, we can determine the perimeter of this rectangle. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? It is twice x plus twice l equals 500. Right, dividing both sides by two, gives us x plus l is 250. And this means l is 250 minus x. Okay, so we have got the result here, but now we need to also examine the area, right? Because we know that the area of these, you can write it as length by the breadth, but it is one, two, to five square millimeters, okay? So which means the length is 250 minus x multiplied by the breadth x, one, two, two, five, like so. And this is 250 x minus x squared equals one, two, two, five. And this is what we get. So what is the meaning of this now? Which means therefore, um, if we have this, we have wrote 250x, okay, minus x squared equals so 1, 2, 2, 5. x squared minus 250x, okay, plus 1, 2, 2, 5, and the result is 0, like so. Factors of x squared are x and x. Right, so we have here minus 5 and minus 2, 4, 5. And this is x equals 5 or x equals 2, 4, 5. And that is what we get. And this is, these are the values of x. Okay, right, having obtained these values of x, so in other words, hence, x is five millimeters or x is two, four, five millimeters. Okay, so this said is extremely important for us, but it is shedding light on the actual dimensions of this, because if we can take any of these, because if you take x equals five, then you look at the rectangle, okay. So we know therefore that this is 250 minus x. So if you take five, it is 250 minus five, two, four, five, that is the L. Then this is five, for example. In which case, therefore, if you multiply the two, what do you get? You multiply two, four, five by five, we can see that from the factors here, if you multiply five and two, four, five, you're getting one, two, three, five, which is the area. So we are done solving this problem and uh, we have solved it in detail. So thanks everybody for your time and attention and so uh, goodbye to you.